this is a fresh new start for our hero. This is not the hero that you've seen before. This is another kind of guy. Well, he's a bit of a mysterious character, really. Like, we don't know much about him. He's got scars on his face, and like, he's, he's kind of rough. <laughs> the Prince is probably least like some of the so-called modern-day video game heroes we used to see. He's actually not really a typical hero. A lot of video game protagonists are like wrestlers, big fat necks, you know, they look like they'd rather put you in a headlock than give you a hug. And then you have the Prince, who, who's just this live, cat-like man. He's tall and he's tan, he's got this dark rock star hair. Looks a lot like a lot of ex-boyfriends I had, only in better shape. And the gameplay style that's really more based around acrobatics and puzzle solving than just pure brute force. He doesn't smolder with generic rage, right? He's not just this, I will kill everyone three times, then I will kill their corpse kind of attitude. He seems a little bit more cerebral. He could protect you and you can have coffee with him. Goes into his battles gun free. He seems like more of a sword guy. He's got the, the swagger and the, the loose shirts and the scarves. Can we talk about the scarves? Why do you wear that scarf? It's lucky. Actually, he kind of dresses like Keith Richards. The key event of the Prince of Persia game is this battle between the gods of light and dark. Their battle spills over into the physical world and um, winds up spreading this corruption. The prince, our hero, he stumbles into this magical walled garden and immediately kind of comes face to face with Elika, the, the heroine of our game. Hi. She's a semi-magical being, uh, descended from some uh, other sort of magical royalty. They were responsible for keeping the god locked up, obviously until someone makes a mistake. Father, no! And somehow it's fallen on her to try to defeat the corruption that's uh, taking over the land, turning everything dark. The prince is kind of drafted into this duty, but he doesn't necessarily go willingly. When the prince meets up with Elika, you're not really sure whether he really wants to help her. Because she's kind of a hot magical chick, you know, you always want to follow him around and you know, see what happens. You now what's little magic of your own? You really can put me down now. He's a bit of a Lothario. He's like a, a ladies' man. On the other hand, Elika looks really sleek. She's hot without being cheap. Should be a, a pricey date, probably. What compels the prince to follow Elika in this game? At least initially, it's certainly not a desire to do good or to fix the world. Uh, he's just kind of a rapscallion, shady character looking for adventure. We know deep down he has a good heart, but he definitely has the guy brain going on. All he cares about at the beginning of the game is like wine, women, and carpet. Until he meets Elika, you know, good looking girl, exciting quest but at the beginning he's not doing it for the right reason. He starts out more or less wanting to just say, well, let the gods clean up their own mess. We have to get out of here. Fine. She Run. says, this is our reason for being here. There definitely is that dark and light in the game. And the prince is kind of the gray area. Where any story gets more interesting is when there's some ambiguity between the good and the bad. He is a selfish guy, and now he's learning to be selfless. But does he actually become the Prince of Persia at the end of the game? Well, you'll have to play to find out. Heroes are constantly getting reimagined. We've seen it with Batman, we've seen it with the X-Men. We certainly paid a lot of attention to uh, various superheroes. Spider-Man was an interesting inspiration for us, in particular Han Solo and, and Indiana Jones. You know, it's more of a, a puckish, playful-like spirit. Yeah, and you can run too! It reminds me of Jack Sparrow, the, the Johnny Depp character in the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. There's an irreverent attitude there. He's not Superman. He's not gonna, you know, rescue your kitten out of a tree for you. He's he like, you know, why do you even own a cat in the first place? Clearly, he's like faced death a few times, but still has a bit of a twinkle in his eye, and I, I like that about him. I think nowhere is it more obvious than in the way that he fights. You know, he's got one hand up to his face, almost in a kind of like, come on, let's go kind of stance, you know? It's very stylish, it's important. there's plenty of flair, it's very spectacular. He always just basically goes, all right, bring it on. No! 